Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and I just got back on vacation. So there was a video here called uh, Power Apps Power Automate SharePoint uh, saying thank you, got a question for a video. So I'm gonna start there. There's a few comments in here, but I'm gonna start with Mike because he has a couple questions. Um, for the life of me, so let's see if we can zoom in. Uh, you know, he wants to know how to do auto saving and maybe even in a draft mode. And then uh, tips on you know, screen resolutions, uh, optimal sizing for screens when there's a lot of content, you know, just makes a lot of empty space on the form. Um, and I believe he's talking mostly about SharePoint integrated forms. So let's see if we can talk about both of those draft mode and looking at, you know, different screen sizes and resolutions. So I have a SharePoint list here. So I'm, I'm sitting in SharePoint. Uh, it's called Resources. I just put something together. Don't think this is production. It's not production. I just kind of put together a resource list. So in project management, there's a few different types of resources. You have material, people, and you actually have cost too. And then I have, you know, what type of material it is, if it's available, and the actual cost of using that resource. In my availability here, so when I click edit, I have, you know, an option for production or draft. So we're going to use that in our Power App. So I'm going to go up to my toolbar and go to integrate, Power Apps, and I'm going to do customize forms. I'm not going to create an app, right? That'll be separate from our SharePoint. I'm going to do customize form. I want a custom form when I click new. So this is called uh, SharePoint. Power Apps integration. This is integrating a Power App and replacing the out of the box form. All right, so you can see I have that custom form here. You notice how small it is. It's pretty small, right? So the first thing that I wanna do is preview it. So, okay, we can see the form here. We can see it in preview. We have a couple different options. Um, this is literally just pulling our fields. I'm gonna say attachments. I'm gonna take that out. I don't want to show attachments there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. Now, this is a new feature for Power Apps. I believe it's only in preview right now. It's not, if you're not in preview mode of Power Apps, I believe it's not there yet. But we can go to authoring version here and click edit. And it's this one right here at the top for me, for right now at this point in time. 3.23. 053.23. We're going to uh, select that authoring version and click reload and apply. And I'm going to show you the difference. Let me show you the difference real quick. So right now when we press play, we have uh, no buttons here. We're going to add a couple buttons there. So once again, we're going to go to settings, support, and then we're going to go to authoring version. And here at the top, we're going to change it and we're going to hit reload and apply version. Save and publish. Now, when we hit press play, we can see we have a couple different options. What it looks like on an Apple iPad, iPad Air, iPad Mini, Apple Phone. What it'll look like if we were to load it on our Apple Phone. Now, you can do this on any um, Power App. Just change the authoring version. As soon as it comes out of preview, it may be, you know, automatic. Let's kind of take a look at this. I'm going to change the background color and I'm going to show you some of the problems that happen. So we're going to go to the form screen and I'm going to change the background color to blue. All right, so we can see there's a background color of blue. Let's go ahead and hit save and publish. I'm going to also publish to SharePoint and then we'll check this out in our integrated version of SharePoint. All right, so now I'm going to go to my SharePoint list. I'm going to hit refresh. So for me, you know, shortcut is just press F5. That's going to refresh. And we click new. You can see that blue background here. Let me move my face. All right, so we can see that blue background here. But one of the biggest problems, right, is all this white space. It, it drives people crazy. Uh, I know. It's, it's a tiny thing. It drives people crazy. Let's see if we can work on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings, display mode. You can see down here we have a portrait, landscape, and size. 
And for here on size, I'm going to go to custom. And for height, I'm going to change it to 900. So we're just going to increase the height. Let's see what happens. So we can see this is much larger now. Takes up more space. Let's publish. Now, as you can see, now SharePoint has left even more white space in our Power App once we increase the height. So my suggestion, so instead of choosing portrait size, I'm going to choose landscape and click apply. And you can see it's 1185, 1185 by 790. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this SharePoint form, pull it all the way across, and also resize the height. So it fits perfectly in there. And I have a good bit of white space, so I'm just going to resize it to fit the space. There we go. And then I'm going to hit publish. And you notice my little version number in here. This helps me when I when I save. I, I suggest just put a little version and number in there. So when you refresh, I'm going to increment it one time here to 0.7. This just helps me know um, if the SharePoint form has accepted my change yet. So I'm just going to hit refresh and click new. So you notice that the screen size is a lot bigger. It's not 0.07 yet, but it is um, picking up that larger screen size. So I'm just going to hit refresh again. Make sure that it picks up my, I must have hit publish on 0.06. Make sure it picks up my 0.7. All right, so this is my suggestion, and this is more of a, a biased thought, is when you make a SharePoint form, and you integrate Power Apps with it, don't put a background color. So I'm going to remove the background color. So let's make sure we go to the form screen. I'm going to remove the background color and use landscape mode. Instead of trying to go vertical, use landscape mode. You can put in, so let's see if we can get some more widths in here. After you fight with it a little bit, now, now you do have to fight with it a little bit. You can put it up here, let's say 600. So when I drop the title down or the resource type down to 400, it then allows me to put it up there. So let's try 500. Let's try 550. All right, so we can see that now I'm using the width of the Power App in order to fit more on the screen. So this is my suggestion, it's totally my opinion, is instead of trying to, you know, fight SharePoint and make it perfect, we, we wait till Microsoft releases this stuff. We keep a white background so the user doesn't notice that it doesn't fit the screen well. All right, so now with version 0 0.08, you can see that there, we have a lot more space in our Power App. The background is white. No reason to really add color unless you really had to, but in my opinion, this looks better than adding a background color. No one's gonna notice that the form doesn't fit correctly. Um, I am zoomed in a little bit. Let's see, I'm at 125%. Let's go back to 100. So you can see you know, how it fits in there at 100. I do normally zoom into my browser and you can see those scroll bars appeared. Let's make sure they don't stay there. So they're not there now. So that's my opinion for when you customize a integrated SharePoint form. Just go to landscape mode and remove the color and use your horizontal spacing to add more to your Power App if you need to. All right, so I actually went through um, and did like a draft uh, off of Mike's second question, but I'm gonna leave that for next week. This was a really long video. I'm gonna leave that for next week and then put that together. So today I'm just going to talk to you about, you know, doing the different sizes in Power Apps SharePoint integrated. Uh, those are my opinions. Keep, use the landscape mode, put more fields in there. You can use multiple pages if you need to. So if you really wanted to, you know, you could add another page in here, another screen. So we could add another screen and have a button to navigate over to the next screen if you wanted to. Don't worry about that white space at the bottom. Don't let that drive you crazy. 
at some point I believe Microsoft will fix it but um just use your you know what Microsoft has available for us right now so you can always have a button here and navigate to screen one so we could always do that have an extra navigate button but for Mike's next question, that will be next Monday. Uh, my videos normally come out at about 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on Monday. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. I do know how annoying it can be to try and do the um, integrated list. I'll just kind of give you a, a preview of next week. I did do a submit as draft and a submit button. But you can see, use that uh, horizontal space that you have. Don't worry about the bottom. Um, Microsoft will someday maybe allow us to work on that. But yeah, keep the white background, use the horizontal spacing. I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.